Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. So today I want to do a um, I want to do a shout out, a shout out. I don't actually make a video specifically to do a shout out, but I've been enjoying the um, content posted by this redditor called Smith Jez for quite a while. For those of you that are on the MSL Reddit, you might know him as the the guy that data mines and shows off all this stuff that is currently in the game but not really in the game. Um, and he actually has a WordPress um, website, so I I can't, I don't know if. This website's gonna give you a virus. Like it doesn't look like a real site. It's 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 a WordPress site basically. Um, but basically, it's just an image site. It has all the the stuff that he's data mined, um, and he basically made them into images. It looks quite nice, and yeah, it's pretty good. It's it's it's, it's not too bad. Um, I want to do a shout out for him because I've been looking through the site and um, taking a look at all the new cool stuff that's supposedly in the game but not really in the game and I also wanted to take a look at the two new monsters the two newest monsters um, that are going to be in the game as well as the Divine Victoria who is the the super evolved version of, um, of Victoria so um, I guess we'll start with the Grizzly the, or the Grizzle uh, the Grizzle is a Probably, I think I think he's a three-star monster. Yes, it says right here. He is a three-star monster um, He's got 35. I think these are six-star stats. Yeah, 35k HP um, and It's a little bit hard. I'm not really used to reading this, but uh, Yeah, mostly a tank monster adrenaline predator Wait, he restores his own HP 30% 100% chance I'm actually hoping this guy's like a common monster, maybe some something for the new maps. He could be an event monster as well, but if he is, then he's actually quite good for I think pretty good for B9, uh, Golem's B9, because monsters with self sustain is, is quite good, and he might actually no his his stats aren't aren't really good enough for dragons. I was hoping he could be like a really good self sustaining monster for for dragons B8, um, but I don't I don't think that's gonna work. This is a this is the water grizzle. He is a uh, he's a sap monster. Fifty percent chance to to sap twice, and he also has the merciless strike. Basically, the same skill as the light Tanya, where um, the opponent has the, the more debuffs they have, the more damage that he deals. He's a balance type monster, three stars. I don't think he's as good as like water miho or anything. Um, his stats, unless he has skill books. If he has skill books, maybe. But this is like kind of too early to to tell because basically this this is just uh, this is just stuff that's like that's like in the game right now, but not really in the game. This is the wood grizzle. Um, eighty percent chance to taunt. I think wood wood monsters with taunt on first skill are a little bit rare they're a little bit rare there is only wood mona oh no wood mona is an aoe taunt um yeah i think they're making some taunt monsters because i i have the feeling i actually have this feeling that they're gonna try to fix colossus and make it like farmable and taunt is actually really really good for colossus which is why i'm actually building the dark tanya you'll you'll see it very soon um i'll I'll have her at, at least, you know, like have her evil three. I might not raise her, but just kind of keep her there, just in case I need a dark monster to taunt. Um, because if you have a taunt of every single element, that's actually quite nice. And uh, this this water this wood grizzle actually fills that slot, and he's actually pretty tanky. He's got really really high defense. Um, well, for a three star, he's got pretty high defense, two thousand nine hundred, um, nearly three k and a decent HP pool, so he doesn't really need any attack or recovery, so his stat distribution is actually quite nice. This actually looks really good. This little bar, it shows like, you know, how much of each stat. It's actually really, really cool. It even has the SP recovery that you can't see um, normally. I guess that's, this is really cool, because um, he's basically data mining the the data that's actually in the game so he the, all this information is just it's just data in the game which is which is pretty nice you know um so light one's actually a four star monster um which makes me think he might be the next he might be next month's rebirth he has battle rush um only on crit so i think he's very very similar to like the dark fibian but he's like a light version um but he is also a tank type he's got 40k hp pretty 
actually not not a lot of defense um, but a pretty big HP pool and he's also got a 70% chance to shock for one turn so this is actually not too bad um, yeah light meta for defense I, I guess he's usable you can actually use him as one of your light monsters you might see him in some PvP defenses possibly but he does require the crit so might not be as good it's a double vengeance double vengeance dark defender interesting um, 26k HP, a little bit of attack. He's also, he, he actually looks more like a balanced monster than a defender, to be honest. He actually does have very, very high defense stats, but um, his recovery is only at 2k, it's not, it's not very high. I think he, it feels like he, he just has more stats than everybody. His HP pool is a little bit low for a 4 star. Um, Basically, you don't want him to die in one turn, and then maybe he can use Vengeance to do some damage with his with his base attack, and then either get healed back, or you know maybe you can put like a leech set on him or something like that. Like if you look at these bars, it's like it's like he has more of everything else, you know. He just has more stats. I'm too lazy to add it up, but it feels like it feels that way. Um, this is the probably the next Her Heroes Fest Rebirth monster because you know Thor's Thor has ended and all the versions of her are four star monsters, which makes me think that she's probably going to be next month's um, Heroes Fest Rebirth or Rebirth Festival monster. Yes. Um, so the the Fire Snow White is um, is a four star attacker with. Yeah, gender is actually a thing now in, in this game. Like, there's there's male, female, and, and neuter. You know, if you're neuter, you don't get the bonuses of either. Um, but if you, like, you know, if you have, like, three females, you get you get the sisterhood bonus. If you have the, if you have three males, you get the brotherhood um, synergy bonus. So I guess gender is kind of a thing now in, in MSL. Um, she's got, oh, she's actually got uh, self-sustain, HP siphon, and seal. Um, Seal's not too good, I don't, I don't think, but she's got pretty high attack, 3,300. It might be a good monster to build for dragons. Like, if you want to make a team that can auto dragons B8, I've, I'm actually working on that, making a team that can auto it. Um, it doesn't say greatly, so it'll only restore half of that. Um, but it might still work, because her, her attack's pretty high. Everything else is a little bit low, but her recovery is also quite low. So her other stats are, her other stats are decent. Basically everything, she's just stacked to the max with uh, with a lot of attack. Um, so double, double attack down. I guess you can use her for Titans. Two turns, 70% chance. Also an attacker, hmm. Seems like a good monster. I, I guess uh, for Titans, an attacker, water attacker with very good stats. I guess you could. It, it's really. It feels really awkward. She her her skill set and her um, her stats actually feel really awkward because she's she has really really good stats to be an attacker, but her skill set doesn't actually give her any sort of bonus. If you want to use her as a debuffer for Titans, you actually want her to be a little bit tankier as well. So, I think this might be a gimped monster. It's just my opinion. Um, doesn't really fit any... Like, on paper, it looks really nice. Like, she has really good skills. And her, her stats are really nice for an attacker. Um, but, like, for, practi for practical uses, I don't think she has a lot of uses in-game. Whoops, I skipped the wood one. All right, the wood one is a 90% sap. 90% um, two turn, two sap. This could be very, very good for, um, you know, TLC, that floor that requires you to sap the, the Light Odin. It's actually quite nice for that. And then Petrify can, I guess you can use this to CC through your stages. Um, she is a balance type. So which you don't need to be really tanky to clear that stage. I have a wood purse that's basically gen with um, only at 5 stars, by the way. Um, that's gen with HP, defense, and attack. 
and I use her specifically for TLC floor 55 and it works really really well and I think the with Snow White can actually do pretty much do the same thing. Um, if you want to keep one you don't necessarily need to even make her evil 3. I have like this wood purse at evil 1 that I keep at level 50 but you can basically just make her level 50 and um, you know make her evil 2 and use her specifically you know for that stage if you have like a few left over might be a pretty good idea um, this is the this is the light snow white she's got a double shock and is she a t oh she is a tank type ooh ooh this might be she might be like the new light thor well it's only a one turn 70% chance but the second skill but the second skill being shock is actually really really powerful as well um, she's not as tanky but she does have a little bit higher attack so which which could bring a little bit more threat to uh, to dark attackers in PvP um, yeah pretty high HP pool defense I guess not optimal but because her HP pool is quite high it doesn't really matter that much um, Yeah, we could definitely definitely make some uh, PvP defense teams with her. Yeah, this is this monster looks looks pretty good. Is this a is this a hunter? Is this a first skill hunter? Expose weakness and a dark attacker. Ooh, holy shit! All right, she's got an AOE exposed weakness twenty percent. And 3,400 base attack with Hunter on first skill, 50% crit damage, and being dark. Like, this is. Yeah, yeah, this is. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Alright. We, we know what. We, you guys know what I'm doing very, very soon. I'm, I'm going to be farming up, saving resources, and uh, we're, we're going really, really hard this rebirth. You know, I, I, want, I want like three of her make the ultimate PvP uh, attack team. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to look, take a look at the two newest monsters. I guess I can go back and take a look at the Victoria um, sometime in the future as well. But I wanted to make this video and also uh, sh shout out to Smith Jez for making this website. Some of you guys know might know him as like the, the data miner or the guy that like data mines the stuff. Um, might not know his name. But he actually has this this website. It's called smithsjess.wordpress.com. I'll include a link below. It's a random WordPress site. I can't guarantee that there will be no viruses, but you know, if there are, then yeah, then yeah, then yeah. Um, okay, so that that is pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. My auto kind of just stopped because I got the high chaos shards so probably the whole entire video I wasn't even watching and I basically only did one run anyways thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video peace out